You know, and you're not sure if your camera's a bit wonky, and it's very probably wonky. Hi everyone, I'm here today to talk about this book. This is The Stars Again by David Young, and this is the sixth in the series. However, it has also been designed to be read as a standalone, so you don't need to have read everything else. There are occasional alludings to things that have happened in the past in previous books, but again, it's one of those things that you can you can still enjoy the story and you can still move on without knowing everything that has happened in the previous five books. So this is a series set in East Germany during the Cold War period, and we're now in 1982. And a body has been discovered buried in concrete. And so our detective, Karen Muller, arrives on scene to start her investigation. However, upon arrival, it becomes apparent that they are being watched. And the people that they are being watched by turns out to be the Stasi, the agents for the Ministry of State Security, but they are known also as the Stasi. And they seem massively overly interested in this case and this one man who is buried in concrete. And so Corinne begins to wonder just why these people are so interested in the man that is buried in the concrete. It doesn't take long till she discovers that this one man is just the tip of the iceberg between a battle that is going on between the Secret Service, the MI6 in the UK and the Stasi in Germany. And just what they are fighting over is slowly revealed within the book and it makes for quite shocking reading. There's also an interesting backlink back to the 1930s, back to Hull in England, in the north of England, which added another layer of interest to this case of the man in the concrete that I really enjoyed. As usual with this Stasi series, it came across as incredibly well researched and the way that the historical fact plays alongside the fiction of this novel is fantastic and I love books that combine historical elements with a fictional story so that you really get a feel for not only the history, but sort of an immersive experience, which is something that I'm always looking for, especially when I'm reading something that is set in history around a period that I obviously have never seen with my own eyes. And it goes without saying that these elements made it very compulsive reading and I found it easy to speed through this book and um, really take in and enjoy the sort of adrenaline rush that I got whilst reading this. Along with the historical fact, we talk about war crimes and in particular we talk about the Dresden bombings that took place from the Allies in World War II in Germany, where basically Dresden was firebombed and thousands of innocents died and much of the city was absolutely destroyed. And it's not something that we learn about very much, especially not in schools. I didn't even know about it till I was a grown up. And it's a horrific part of history that I found to be particularly well covered within this book. It holds enough danger and secret service goodness to keep anybody who likes that sort of genre entertained. It is fast paced and a bit of an adrenaline rush. So it'll keep people like me who like this sort of genre reading on through. And I would say if you're a fan of movies such as the Bourne series, or if you're a fan of books such as I Am Pilgrim, um, the, this is gonna be one for you. And it might also be a good idea as a Christmas gift because as someone who was in my life and if they were still with us, they would be getting the entire series for Christmas because I know they would love it. Um, unfortunately, they're not they're not here but um you know you get what I'm saying this would make a good Christmas gift with the rest of the series for somebody so if you've read any of the Stasi books let me know let me know which ones were your favorites and let me know if you've read this one yet or if you're going to and um I will speak to you all soon bye for now